Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I need two minutes. I know I ain't been here in a while. I missed a couple days, but I'm back. Um, had stuff going on. Had stuff. You know, it's the end of the month. Finances gotta be prepared. So when you get to the end of the month, you won't be sitting outside next month. But anyway, two minutes. Okay, so now you guys have seen the masks. If you like my shirt, you know what I'm saying. Hit the website, go and grab you one. But I came for two minutes today because something was said to me last night that I was very, 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 mm, I don't know if I can say intrigued, concerned, or whatever. You tell me once you hear what I finish saying. So, um, you know, social distance and everything in place. I went out with some friends last night just to, you know, see if we could go out and have a good time because being inside has been, being inside has been crazy. Um, but I digress. We had a great time. The night went well. Um, you know, yeah, that. But my point lies in when I went to cash out for the night, went to the register, <coughs> not COVID. Um, the guy at the register noticed I had on my shirt. He saw the mask and he saw the Black Lives Matter stuff. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to give you a discount because you're still repping the Black Lives Matters. And I feel that it stopped too soon. Now, I feel like it stopped too soon, too, because we still haven't received the justice that we had been marching and screaming and yelling for yet. Stuff still hasn't happened the way we wanted it to. So I feel like we still need to be on that crusade for justice. But the most, and the most um, I guess, the part that really got me was that the guy was Caucasian. Like, even they know that we stopped our crusade too early and stuff. Oh, there's my two minutes. But I don't know. I, I said all of that to round it about and say, for those of you that have stopped already or moved on to the next trend, it's not cool, you guys. Um, There are like 17 cases that I know of where justice has not been served. Either... The officers are still working, still getting paid or on paid leave or whatever. And the justice that we're fighting for is for them to either face trial, not be employed anymore so they don't do this to anyone else or what have you. And these justices have not been met. So I really encourage everyone to still continue the fight. Please do not let this die before we get the justice for those that have died. And that's my two minutes and more.